question of today is who can be shredder? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another trial of the round table. And a new challenger is approaching, or if I want to be specific, challengers are approaching. But these challengers are all known under one name. And who is this man exactly? Well, uh, let's just say this man has been beefing with Turtle since 1987. I brought back some takeout, so like, let's get down and pig out. It's Shredder. Ladies and gentlemen, the Shred. Why? Why you have played the uh, the uh, uh, loser one? Why you have played the loser Shred? Like, come on, come on, CJ. You you have played loser Shred. So everybody, sit back and relax back, because the relax, amount of evidence and exhibits I have on this man is about to make this the most massive and ambitious roundtable trial to date. So, without further ado, it is time to commence. The Shred. Wait, 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 Shred came out when I'm Shredder. Yo, buddy, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Utron Shredder. New York City, a city where you can find damn near everything, from your bacon, egg, and cheeses, a random nigga getting sturdy on every single block, fat ass nigga, and of course, ninjas. I beg your pardon? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TMNT version of NYC, where the streets are ran the by apple, ninjas. And to be specific, the Foot Clan, ran by none other than Oroku Saki, or also known as the Shredder. Now, this man Shredder basically ruled the streets of New York with a iron fist. He had every single rival gang and every single uh, mob not, boss like, bend not, the knee. Like, I mean, yeah. look at his first I'm example. Like we got a yeah. run-of-the-mill yeah. drug deal going on right now between the foot and some random-ass mob. So I, bro right here come I, up and say, you got the stuff? Do you have the payment? Oh, we got the money, all right? So bro throws the briefcase to him and Big Dog got the case and started counting the money on the spot. And when he finished, he was like, do you play us for a fool? This is only half of what we agreed upon. <laughs> yeah, because you're going to get the other half after we take it off your dead corpse, bud. You have some death Damn. Death Damn. No, 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 no. no. Hey, look at the mob. These boys are terrified. So they start shooting. And they just started beating the shit out of them. They stood absolutely no oh. chance. And these were level one foot grunts, by the way. Wait, the foot grunts wait. that Shredder treats like absolute garbage. I mean, look at these oh. workplace conditions, my nigga. This man treats these foot grunts as his personal punching bags. First off, before they even start this beating session, they got to glaze the nigga. They all got on one knee and started saying in unison, my Sure, they got glazed sure, shredder. Like shredder. shredder, the like king, shredder, the, the king, ruler, the, the guardian, the guardian, the guardian, the guardian, the guardian, the guardian, the leader of leader the world, of the world. Wow, wow. By you. So the reverse jumping session started. Foot nigga number one decides to pull a sword out, but look at this. Weave roundhouse to the dome. And he just whooping they ass without even trying. Look at this. He bicycle kicked a whole grown man into another man. And look how he landed. A whole hog of ass in his face. And they just got absolutely popped. And I honestly got feel bad for these level one foot ninjas because they probably go through this every day. He probably just beat their ass for entertainment. This is just straight torture, bro. And my yo, God, yo, yo, if yo, you yo, ever yo, fail yo, this man. Man, <laughs> Well, let's ask Damn. this guy right here. So this random guy right here failed to steal this armored truck for Shredder because the turtle stopped him. So bro is pleading for his life right now. He is saying, but please, Mr. Saki, you must understand. I was attacked by some buff ass turtles. But Shredder looked at bro and said, Shut your trap. You are fucking failure. No, please. So he leaps at this man, and you just not see right. the door it's shut. Cool. And all you hear is this bullshit. man screaming. Oh, well, guess what? Ding, ding, ding. You guessed it. Murder on aisle four. This is dead. But there was one man who suffered the absolute worst of Shredder's wrath because of his constant failures. And that is none other than Baxter Stockman. Holy f 
what he did to this nigga Stockman. It is inhumane. First of all, you're probably wondering how Stockman even got in this situation. Well, he was a scientist working for Shredder. And one day, the turtles in April O'Neil blew up his lab. So while this man was trying to run away, he ended up running into Hunt, Shredder's big ass enforcer. Shredder. I I I really don't get, get why why Shredder got beat that dangerous type type person. Like come like someone Shredder. You didn't have, you didn't to, have Batman to Batman stop me like that. So Hunt told Stockman, seems like you're in trouble, Mr. Stockman. And Stockman knew he was cooked, trying to yap and lie his ass off. But Hunt grabbed this nigga by the collar and walked him all the way back to Shredder. So they get back to base, and this motherfucker Stockman was like, well, you see, Master Shredder, this is just a minor setback. Because with your funding, of course, <laughs> I'll be back at work tomorrow. But this nigga Shredder grabbed his claw, got up and told him, nigga, do you think you're off the hook? You must pay for your failure, Stockman. So Hun drug him off to God knows where. And the next time you see Stockman, he has a scar and a eye patch over his eye. He gouged out his eye. He straight up mutilated this man. And look how he treats this man on a daily basis. Stockman like, oh, Master Shredder with my I believe genius brains, we wouldn't be in this situation right now. Shut your black ass up, Stockman. And guess what happened after this? He failed him again. So they took him back to the torture chamber and Hun mutilated him again. And the next time you see Stockman, bro cut off his arm and paralyzed him. He turned this nigga to Charles Xavier. So I'm pretty sure y'all get how this works now. Every time this man fails shredder takes one of his body parts and this isn't even the last time if, if, if you know, know about this about this red this red this red this red that batman stop is so bad like like batman stop is like like in and and can like 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 shredder did that batman stop work and any um, um, person that failed him, that they, they, they didn't. didn't. Right, right, bro. bro. This, this red, this red, this red this took each part, part, part of Batman's stomach party, party and, come and come up, up jip to Batman's stomach and fill him. Like, like Batman's stomach like, being really had, had, and it's like, this man's really had his hands, man. He 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 had his hands, man. The turtles was a absolute beatdown. And before this even happened, Shredder tried to sweet talk this nigga Leonardo. He went up and told bro, Ah, uh, hello, nigga turtle son. We don't have to be enemies, my boy. So take this sword as my gift. So this man Leo went back to Master Splinter. And when he told him this, Master Splinter was like, Oh, hell no, my son. Don't you dare trust that motherfucker. And this man Splinter was right because PTSD came and hit him like a train. Because years ago, when Splinter was the pet rat of Hamato Yoshi, the Foot Clan busted up in their house and jumped this man. So then Shredder came in and they started to torture him while Splinter was watching. Then after he was done, he kissed the nigga right in front of his face. So now they knew who they was no. dealing with. So later on that night, while they're on a rooftop, they end up getting ambushed by the foot. And here comes this motherfucker Shredder. And this man came in pissed off. He was like, I gave you that expensive sword and you still decide to fight against me. Did you know how much oh, that cost I, I, I me? Like what, uh, $50, bro? Try 50,000, nigga. Oh. So Shredder sends his foot ninjas to attack him. And while this man Mikey is just twirling around his nunchucks, Shredder comes from the top rope and drop kicks him across the building. Then he looks over at Leonardo. Bro said, come get some of this shit too. Then over here, look at Donatello just spinning his staff like an idiot. Nigga think he Wukong. Shredder comes behind him and just throws him. And look at Donnie's stupid ass. You know he can't break throws. Then this man threw a sword to light the entire building on fire and just starts staring down Leo and Raph. So they all jump up and Shredder just knocks him out both in the air. This nigga is cooking them. And then look at this. Raphael gets up just to get kicked off of the building Whoa. into a dumpster. Really then he can't leave an auto off a building. The dog landed on a taxi. Really and then boys had to retreat because Shredder really destroyed the whole damn building. Cook, cook, look at this motherfucker walk out the fire. fire and saying, Oh, turtles. 
come out to play. I ain't gonna lie, I'd be shitting bricks if I was in their shoes. So then he called yeah, over yeah, his foot ninja. He said, foot ninja, glaze me. Yeah. If I've been in one of Mikey, Donnie's, Ralph, and the Arnold shoe, I'll be kissing my pants. Like, bro, you will see the level Shredder have a go through to fight the turtles. Master Shredder, if you want a pay raise, find those turtles. So Shredder had a bunch of foot ninjas just on a wild goose chase, hunting these boys throughout the entire night until the turtles just decided, f*** it. We can't outrun the nigga, so we might as well just fight him. So later on, they decide to have a standoff on the top of this roof. So here come this man Shredder, and he immediately said, Foot ninja, jump the turtle. So they got a whole brawl going on right now. And I'm not going to lie to you. This version of Shredder does not believe in fair ones at all. Every chance he gets, he's going to jump you. Look at this nigga Mikey just fighting for his life right now. Bro was on a f***ed up ankle just for Shredder to come out of nowhere and send him flying. I mean, look at this nigga. Donatello is clearly getting jumped just for Shredder to walk up to bro and tell him, Hey there, little green nigga. Catch this four piece combo, nigga. Sent this nigga Donatello flying while he was off guard. This nigga don't believe in fair ones. Look at Leonardo. This man is backpedaling just for Shredder to come behind him and try to sneak him. Bro got lucky. Raphael bailed him out, but they just ended up trading places. The Shredder picked this man Raphael up and threw him across the building. And look at poor Mikey. Y'all already know what's about to happen. Shredder sneaks this nigga again. Send him flying to the wall. And of course, this man Leo's the last man standing just for him to run right into Shredder. And bro just looked at him and said, night, night, nigga turtle. <laughs> So this man Shredder had him beat. The turtles are already down 2-0 against this nigga. So right when he's about to deliver the killing blow, which is clear attempted murder, by the way, Master Splinter comes down and bails out his sons. And this man Shredder was pissed. He told Master Splinter, Looks like New York's ever-growing rat pandemic has still been unsolved. But Master Splinter was not about to take that disrespect. He led Shredder over to this water tower and gave him the bait of the century. He just started making bro miss so he would destroy the supports of the water tower. So when the tower started shaking, and Master Splinter told him, This is for my Master Yoshi. So, bro kicked the water tower on him. So, dog got washed off the building and the water tower fell on him. So, Master Splinter then bailed these boys out. Because they think Shredder is dead. I, 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 I mean, yeah. shit. Anybody. Like, 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 Nobody would. Nobody is surviving that shit. But we I, would I soon understand nobody, that nobody this man it. is fucking unkillable. And I mean this literally. Bro dodges death like ice by shaking ass. It just comes natural to him. So about a good week later, Leonardo decided to go on a morning training run. And everything just seemed all fine. Master Splinter was like, oh, take care of yourself, my son. And make sure to get that 40-yard dash faster. You looked slow the other day. So Leo goes out on his morning training run. So about one hour later, it started to get a little worried. Donatello's smart ass was thinking in his head, Man, what the Sigma? It's eight o'clock sharp and Leo left at 7 a.m. Usually it takes him about 30 minutes to run. Hey guys, the fuck's going on? I don't know, bruh, but something is totally off. And their suspicions were right because literally 47 seconds later, Leonardo comes flying through the window and this nigga is beat the and Leonardo's last words before he lost conscious was, oh, he, he's back. <laughs> yes, this man Shredder came back with a vengeance because while Leonardo was on his training run, Shredder sent his elite guard to jump this nigga. And when they was done, they took Leonardo's swords, gave it to Shredder, and bro bended his swords and snapped him in half like a stick. And not even a minute later, Foot Ninja started busting into April O'Neil's apartment. They said, we committing home invasion today. So the turtles had to retreat to get to the store downstairs before they got overran. So later on, when they got to the store, Shredder comes and kicks down the door. And bro walked in saying, one, two, three, four. How many nigga turtles are in my store? I know you're stealing. Well, um, actually, you're the one busting into April's store right now. So, uh, technically, you're the one stealing, bruh. You know what, Mikey? 
you actually got a point right now. Silence, you little green shits. Quit all that yapping and come get these hands. So they dive in on him and Raphael comes in first. But look at this. Bro hits the Counter. cook of the century and punishes the hell out of him. Mikey comes in oh. and gets cooked as usual. And here comes Donatello. But he whiffs and look at the sidestep. Ah. Bitch, get this man into a stripper pole. But nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta ask his question. Hey, but why the hell you got a stripper pole in your store? You damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all want to know. April, why you got a stripper pole in your store? Wait, wait, wait. You trying to get. You trying to be freaky? You trying to be free, free, free? You trying to be on that free, free, low, 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 low stuff? I come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We all want to know why you got a stripper pole in that store. We got a stripper pole in your store for Freak. Shorty probably got a secret OF. So here comes Master Splinter, and obviously Shredder wants his run back. So they start fighting again, but I ain't gonna lie, Shredder started getting cooked by this rat again. So bro ended up kicking a bookcase on him, and they decided to retreat in this cellar. So while the foot was trying to open up the door, the cops ended up pulling up. So Shredder told his foot to disappear. But before he left, he decided to do some crazy shit. Bro walked up to the cooler and locked them in. Then he pulled out a grenade Molotov, set the place on fire, and started leaking gas. And bro started to walk away and said, This is what y'all get for camping like some pussies. Say your prayers, nigga turtles. So the gas started to leak, and bro blew up the whole block. This is just ridiculous, bro. And I'm not gonna lie, this man had to have caught some bodies here. I mean, you literally see these policemen get blown away. 99.9% .9 of the time, a regular is not surviving that. So let's be real, they're dead. Now the turtles did get out of there because of a bit. But look at April, she is devastated. She done lost her whole business and her whole apartment. And the whole crew basically had to leave New York. So Shredder effect- Oh, no, 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 no. No way. No, no way, Shredder may, may, may all leave New York. Ain't no, no way, Shredder may, may all leave New York. That's some. Oh, oh hell no. Nah. Ran these niggas out of New York and put Leo in a coma. Bro was out for like a wow. week. So the turtles were, turtles were covered as time passed. And they decided to assault this man's lair. So while they broke into Shredder's lair, they ended up finding some pretty dark things that Shredder has what? done. And that would be human experimentation. Because they found this lab, and it consisted of a bunch of mutated shredders. And also, they was kidnapping motherfuckers. They found this video of these foot-mad scientists that was experimenting on people that they kidnapped and was mutating them into monsters. So yeah, this man is a sick nigga, bro. Anyways, they get to the top floor to confront Shredder. But before they get the chance to fight, this motherfucker Baxter Stockman pulls up in a whole mess. So Shredder was like, Stockman, what the fuck are you doing? Doing. Well, Master Shredder, this is my Emancipation Proclamation, because I'm done being your motherfucking slave, nigga. So this man grabbed Shredder, started throwing him around, and dog walking him. Stockman was finally getting his get back from all the mutilation and the torture he's received. But his reparations would not last long. Shredder jumped up and just sent Bro to the Shadow Room. So after that altercation, Shredder was like, now then, let's get down to business. Shredder starts whipping that ass. So here comes Master Splinter, trying to bail out his sons again. But this time, it wasn't going to work. Shredder jumps up, roundhouses this nigga through the glass and off of the damn building. Shit, bro got lucky this was Leonardo saving his life and not Spider-Man. Because we all know what happened last time Pete was in this situation. Blew that back out. But while Leo was saving Master Splinter, everybody else was just getting their ass kicked. It looked like Shredder at this point was just having fun. Then he ends up pulling out this sword called the Sword of Tengu, which is a mystical sword that he had made a long time ago. We will learn about this soon. But 
he ends up blasting the turtles and knocking them all out so they was fighting for dear life at this point because shredder's using this busted ass sword but they ended up knocking it out of his hand so leo could grab it and leonardo and shredder stood off for one final strike and well the plot kicked in hard the battle is over and the turtles have defeated the shredder or so they thought because this man got up grabbed his head and walked off into the fire and how the hell did he do this well this is where shit gets crazy the shredder trials exhibit a wrap up multiple counts of murder mutilation torture kidnapping home invasion trafficking racketeering property damage multiple counts of attempted murder assault on multiple counts exhibit b all righty ladies and gentlemen i now present to you exhibit b shirelle now <laughs> let's get the elephant out the room this nigga is not a rokusaki this motherfucker is an alien. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Shirelle, the universal genocidal maniac. This is the worst criminal in the universe. And he is also the Utram Shredder. Now, it's time to go back to the 11th century. Now, this alien race called the Utrams are a very peaceful race, but there was one outlier and that was Shirelle. now currently they have him in custody and they're taking him back to the planet to be tried for his crimes against the universe but Shirelle was not gonna let that happen so later on Shirelle ended up escaping and overriding the ship's engines making the ship crash on the nearest planet and that planet was earth now the utrons were very technologically advanced but since earth was basically so far behind back then they couldn't repair their ship so they were stranded so they decided we might as well just blend in and live with these people so with the technology they had they made exosuits so they could blend in with humans six months later utron was taking an exosuit on a test drive he ends up falling into a trap and he gets six flying by a log and this trap was set up by none other than Shirelle. And he looked at the poor little nigga in there and said, <laughs> What a wonderful toy. Move, little nigga. So he carjacks this little nigga. Then he decides to just pick him up and just throw him. Who knows where that little nigga just landed? But after this is where everything makes sense. We see what, these Utrams working and they end up getting attacked by foot ninjas. And they are being led by none other than the Shredder, AKA Shirelle. This version of Shredder that we have been talking about is a one. This, this dude, like, 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 bro. It, it, once you, once you learn, learn and, and research, research about, about this brother, you, you realize, realize that he, he would, would stop stop ball, 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 kill, kill, murder, like, 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 he might put a bird right there. He put a bird right there. One thousand year old alien that established the Foot Clan back all the way in the feudal era of Japan. And look at this man. He is beating the dog shit out of these Ultrons. Oh, no. Look at Buddy right here. He just like, oh, what is the meaning of this? What have we done to you? What have you done to me? Oh, simply breathing the same air as me. Look at him. He is boxing this nigga up. This motherfucker been jumping niggas since the 11th century. Now, y'all remember that sword? The sword of Tengu? This yeah. is when it was made. So he had blacksmiths build him a sword that was salvaged from the Utram technology. So the blacksmith presented him with the sword and the blacksmith told him, oh yes, now are you ready to discuss payments, Lord Shredder? Payment. <laughs> oh, I will gladly give you payment. So he aimed the sword at them and boom. <laughs> like nigga, why? 
why they yeah, gladly yeah, he built that sword for you and you just blew him to bits <laughs> okay nigga triple homicide on all three so after this throughout the century shredder just expanded the foot to what we know it is as today and has been beefing and has been trying to kill all the utroms ever since and anybody allied with them because y'all remember master yoshi splinter's master yeah he has been allied with the utroms and has been beefing with shredder for years he even corrupted his best friend to defect and fight to the death while he watched like this man is 100 pure evil not a single redeeming quality so now let's go back to the present now after this man dodged death again i mean this man had a fight with the utrons and the turtles and survived oh, a building shit. that imploded on him still to this day i don't know how bro survived this he decided to take out his anger on none other than Baxter Stockman. Now, as we saw earlier, Stockman tried to kill Shredder, but failed miserably. So Shredder decided it was time for some more punishment. And I mean severe punishment. Because the next time you see Baxter Stockman, this man has been reduced to a brain. Why is so hard right now? No. I wanna tell y'all this really is just No when I was seeing uh, how 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 T V for explained to you how dangerous this really This man's brother took everything from Batman Stop Me. This man's brother let Batman Stop Me as a prey. This man took all Batman Stop bone skin and left him as it, a brain. How the f you gotta be this down and then diabolical to do something like this to a person like like come on. And an eyeball in a tube. This, in honest brain. to God, is oh, a fate God. worse than death. This man has lost his body, and the only thing he has left is his nervous system in a jar. And what was the most that's fucked up so. thing? Shredder looked at him and told him, mm, Baxter Stockman, <laughs> it seems that you have overdosed on Ozempic. And then look at this. They start shocking this man in the tube. This is actually horrible. The fact that this was shown on four kids is insane. Because we slowly watch this dude get mutilated and reduced all the way to a brain in a jaw. Like, that was stopping, gosh, that's how Paul go until he got to a brain until you get to see the man nervous system. That how bad Shred did this man. Oh, crazy work, bro. Several days later. And the turtles confront Shredder on this ship. So obviously Shredder Wait, starts talking shit immediately. Ah, uh, nigga turtles. Fancy that you are here because now you can be test subjects to my new footbox. Roger, Roger. So this robot walks up and blows this <laughs> Raphael up. <laughs> So a whole brawl ends up breaking out. And of course, Shredder and Splinter face off again. And poor old Master Splinter got his ass whooped. Like Shredder was teeing off on this nigga. Like you could see the pain in Master Splinter shaking his head like, oh, oh lordy, lordy, lord, I'm getting too old for this shit. So a big ass explosion goes off and Splinter oh. ends up getting knocked down and Unk is not getting up. Somebody need to call life alert for this old nigga now. Five-year-old male back pain. It's 211 Silver Hollow Road between Lane Road and Cross Patch Road. But this Triceraton ran Shredder away. So he ends up boxing with Dino nigga. And this big ass motherfucker picked him up and threw him across the ship and hammer fisted him into this fire pit. So Big Dog thought he won. He was like, Victory for the Republic! Hey, but the hey, turtles hey, was hey, like, hey, Yo, hey, turn around, bro! This hey, motherfucker hey, Shredder hey, got hey, up hey, and stabbed hey, him in the booty. Wait, 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 wait,
I mean, it looks like he stabbed him in the ass. So while Shredder's walking over to kill the turtles, Dino nigga gets up, bear hugs Shredder, takes him over to the fire pit, and falls in it with him. So you gotta think, no way Shredder survives this. The ship literally blows up, and bro got dragged down to the no bottom way, of the ocean by Dino nigga. Well, uh, he lives to see another day. I will say this once and I will say it again. This man is unkillable. Oh, and by the way, Dino nigga's dead. That man did not come out that water. So his sacrifice is in vain. So we got another murder on our one. So after this, Shredder decided to do another nefarious act. So the city what? of Beijing became a floating city after the Triceratons tried to invade Earth. So Shredder wanted the thing that was making the city float. So you know what bro decided to do? Steal the thing and try to drop the city on the Earth. Like dog, this nigga is an actual maniac. And guess what? When Hun and Baxter Stockman failed to get the job done, he made these boys slaves. I'm not kidding. He got these niggas working in a steel mill in chains. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga Baxter Stockman needs reparations immediately because his brother done lost his body and now he a damn slave. And look at Shredder come in. Stockman was like, oh, oh Lord, Master Shredder, I, I, I'm working diligently. Nigga, did I say that you could speak? Lord bless his brother. One weekend of pampering later. Start gaining more influence in the city. I mean, he had the mayor on his payroll and he started to build a ship because he wanted to go to the home planet of the Utroms and conquer their planet. But the turtles was not having that shit because if they don't stop him now, he's going to take over the galaxy. So they put this misread over, 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 over a hundred. Like there's no way. No way Shredder is doing all this. Ain't no the way. There, there, there gotta be some way somebody gonna stop him. Pull up on Shredder and they don't sugarcoat it. They start jumping the hell out of this man. Like this shit was crazy. They had bro stumbling and shit. Bro fell to the ground and he was like, in all my centuries, I've never had my ass beat like this. So y'all know Shredder was not about to go out like no bitch. Bro pops up and starts beating the hell out of everybody. Planted these niggas on a wall and Splinter came from the top rope. But bro caught the sword and kicked him across the room. So Shredder ends up fleeing all the way to his ship and he takes off into space so it was time for the final confrontation so shredder pulls up in his final boss armor that's got four arms on some general grievous shit so shredder with the help of his delusional daughter karai start whipping their ass like he's just throwing these niggas and then look at this they tried to run up and electrocute bro but bro grabs the wires from him and he electrocutes master splitter unk was done for it then bro stepped behind leonardo Booted him all the way to Karai, and she stabs him. Leonardo was cooked. Then it was Raphael's turn. Bro grabs him and hits him with the GPS. This nigga think he's CM Punk. And here come Mikey, getting his legs taken out and stomped on. And of course, here comes Donatello coming to get washed like usual. This brother's smart as hell, but goddamn, he the one that get his ass beat the most. And Shredder has defeated the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He won the final battle. So while he was about to kill Leonardo, Karai comes in and stops him. And this man was pissed. He was like, daughter. What the fuck are you doing? Father, this is dishonorable. Have you no honor, my nigga? Honor. Bitch, fuck all that shit. Bro just a bitch slapped his own daughter and is about to kill her. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This nigga's terrible. But right before this was about to happen, the Utroms pulled up stopped time and warped everybody off the ship because they was coming back to earth to arrest this nigga so we end up going to the utram home world and they are about to put this man on trial for all the atrocities he has committed and my god when you hear some of this shit it is absurd so the first thing that they bring up that on this one planet their ruler dolph ed testified that he willingly launched an attack on this planet called nf gold in over one million innocent people were killed oh but we're not done next up this alien Juan Ron Otho proved that he incited a civil war on this planet called Eno 2 in an effort to mine their raw minerals without restriction now guess how many people died during this a whopping 
2 million. This guy's body count is in the millions. And I saw one comment before I made this video. Some said, he's making a video on Shredder. What does bro do? Doesn't he just fight turtles? Get the fuck out of here, bro. And then they got him on conspiracy to overthrow the government. So all the Utroms in the Galactic Council came together and said, Sherelle, we the Galactic Council find you guilty and you will be banished to eternal exile. Nani? So they exiled this man to a freezing planet. And that was the end of the Utrom Shredder. Until he decided to try to destroy the multiverse, of course. The, the Shredder, Shredder Trials. Trials. Exhibit B wrap up. Multiple assaults, bribery, conspiracy, mutilation, attempted mass murder, multiple counts of murder, slavery, multiple counts of genocide. genocide. Exhibit C. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our final exhibit. And that, of course, is multiversal destruction. Get it, get it, so get after Shredder got exiled on the frozen planet, he ended up I getting don't saved don't die, don't by die, don't none other die, than I... the 1987 Shredder. Now, the reason why he did this is because, why, well, why? the 87 Shredder is kind of a Is this nigga serious? In Something, something, something red. red. He kind of stupid. Like, are you like, are you kidding? This, this, this version, version is Shrell. The worst, the worst of like, worst, like, 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 and he was tired of getting his ass beat every episode. So he wanted to see what he could learn from his other counterparts. So of course, he chose the evilest one out of all of them, the Utrom Shredder. Now, Utrom Shredder obviously betrayed 87 Shredder, thought this nigga's an idiot. And he decided, I'm gonna destroy every single Ninja Turtle that ever existed. So he took over 87 Shredder's Technodrome and started to wreak havoc across the city. Shit, the whole military pulled up. They called the Army, Air Force, Marines, and they couldn't do nothing. They ended up becoming oh, cannon fodder. Oh, this nigga was killing oh, multiple people. Oh, and this maniac oh, is just oh, laughing oh, while he's committing oh, mass oh, murder oh, and destroying oh, the city. Oh, <laughs> this motherfucker is crazy it got to the point 87 shredder and krang started to question this they walked up to him and said ah what the devil are you doing let's just destroy the turtles and be done with it yeah destroy them already man fools you bum ass niggas dare question me shut the fuck up dog he's gotten to the point where he's abusing his own counterpart Nasty work. Later that night. This man ended up capturing the 2003 turtles and the 1987 ones so he could use their DNA to find the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So he found Turtle Prime, which was the I, world I. of the first issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 1984. And he starts to destroy their world. This nigga's destroying the first comic. He's a fucking maniac. So it was time for the final, final battle. So to save the multiverse, the 2003, 87, and 84 Turtles, along with 87 Shredder, Krang, Karai, and Master Splinter was about to jump this man because if he destroys this universe, everybody gets erased from existence. So this motherfucker turned into a giant and he said, oh, this is my lucky day. I count 12 Turtles, a rat, my bitch main counterpart, a pink blob, and my thought daughter, all of you can suck my giant show! So this man just starts to destroy whoa, everything. Whoa, 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 this stupid ass whoa, 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 nigga Crane turned giant just to get his ass whooped. And this man turned his hand into a Gatling gun and started spraying and praying. And this just ended up becoming a whole episode of AOT. Cause this man done became a damn Titan and he trying to stomp on niggas now. So then he snatched the 84 turtles and started squeezing them to death. And this took everybody up because since they're dying, everybody's dying, even Shredder himself. So Karai pled to him. 
if you, you, if you watch, watch this type of shredder, this shredder come by, they at Fury and Shredder, shredder, shredder do, do, and if, if you try to kill one of the shredder, the one the trail, I mean, he will end up dying, and he, and he, and what, 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 tried to talk no juice to him she said father please are you willing to destroy yourself for some oh, damn oh, girl, you're, you're he here? stopped for a second but then he thought to himself and decided you little green shits are the bane of my existence so if i die too so be it so this man is about to destroy everything even himself this nigga is crazy bro is willing to destroy himself just so they don't exist this might be the craziest hate boner of all time dio you got competition buddy so right before the multiverse is about to be erased this man ends up getting hit by ninja stars in 87 donatello actually came in clutch it's a miracle and shredder ended up getting hit by his own techno drone laser evaporating him and finally putting an end to the utram shredder and with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all of these charges, there should be no debate he passed his trial. We are round tabling this nigga now. This little bastard is the definition of a menace to society. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one trial down and two more to go. So now I know the question's coming. CJ, when's the second trial dropping? Well, I got good news for you. I'm already damn near done with it. So until we return, the jury is adjourned and the trial of the Utram Shredder.